Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 69th performance of Musical Moods from Grand Rapids Community College Music Department. Just applause at that moment would be awesome. Thank you. <laughs> we thank you for being here. I'm, I'm actually talking so that there's time for people who are latecomers to get in and get settled but it's also twofold purpose. I want to give you a little information before we begin the performance this evening. 70 years ago, yeah, 70 years ago, Albert P. Smith uh, began the music program at Grand Rapids Community College, and a year after that, as far as I know, now Doug, you could correct me if I'm wrong on this one, but. But you're not that old either, so you may not know this. Uh, but anyway, a year after that first year, uh, they held the first Musical Moods performance. So that makes this one the 69th. Next year we get to do 70. So this evening, uh, before we actually get started, I hope you'll take out your cellular devices and put them into some kind of a silent mode so that uh, they don't go off in the middle of the concert and disturb the performances. And then I should point out that this evening, although we are not actually doing a collage performance because this stage doesn't really give us those, that many different options for placing the performing ensembles in different places, uh, I would like to ask that you hold your applause until after each group is finished performing. So after the orchestra finishes their entire performance, then applaud madly and so on. And I think Mr. Morris is also going to make an announcement when the guitar ensemble comes up, but I'll just give you a heads up that the, um, the piece that the guitar ensemble, I think it's the second piece that the guitar ensemble is playing, has three movements. So you need to be aware that you should probably not clap after the first movement until they're finished with that whole thing. So anyway, uh, I think those are the only announcements I have to make at this moment. I will tell you that I'll be back up here when the wind ensemble is setting up in the second half because that setup takes a lot of time and I have more information to share with you at, at that time. So I hope you enjoy the performance this evening and please welcome the performers.
Before we continue with the next piece, I would like to take a minute and just acknowledge uh, some members of the guitar ensemble. And first of all, just to say that this has been a fantastic group all year long to work with, and I, I think we've come a long ways as a group and also as individuals. But three of the members have been in the group for four or more semesters, and I just want to acknowledge their service and leadership in the group. And it's always interesting to me when we first start out in the first semester, usually somebody's in, in the ensemble. They're just not sure what they're doing and uh, maybe, you know, not sure if they belong there. And uh, these three members have really become leaders. And uh, I just want to thank them for their service. Aaron Roloffs over there. Aaron, just maybe wave and, all right. And then uh, right here on my end, Cameron Pumphrey and Jonathan Jackson. Thank you all. <clears throat> We're going to continue with this concerto, and uh, it's three movements, very short movements, and it will feature uh, Jonathan and Cameron on the soli.
I received a note earlier that said, at this moment in the performance, I'm supposed to fill so that there's plenty of time for our stage crew to reset the stage for the wind ensemble. But it's good because I have plenty to tell you. Uh, first thing I'd like to do is acknowledge the uh, patience and uh, tolerance of our students and the faculty this year as we lived in temporary quarters in the data center and the fifth floor of the main building, the science center, the ATC, St. Cecilia Music Center, and Fountain Street Church so that we could hold all of our classes and rehearsals while the music building was undergoing a multi-million dollar renovation. This is a good thing. But it was not easy because the data center is in the bowels of the parking ramp. And although the view is really beautiful, um, it's really noisy and very difficult to practice. But the students and the faculty did a fantastic job. I see people shaking their heads. They know. It's, uh, you can hear everything. Kind of like the old music building where you could hear everything. Uh, didn't matter where you were. But the beautiful thing is that our faculty and students have weathered the storm. And on Thursday, yesterday, we had a sneak peek of the new Albert P. Smith Music Building. It's a uh, nearly $9 million renovation. And for those folks who hadn't been in it since it was it, like it used to be, uh, it's completely transformed. And it's, sometimes it's difficult to really know where you are. You can actually get lost, especially on the third floor, because they've added a new hallway above what was the old gymnasium. And so on May 1st, we'll start moving everything back and then start holding classes in the Albert P. Smith Music Building on June 6th of this summer. We'll actually start teaching uh, classes in there during the summer session. So we're very, very excited. But I really would like you to uh, show your appreciation to the wonderful faculty, our ensemble faculty, our classroom faculty, who, who made it possible for us to get through this year. So please show your appreciation to them. Thank you. And I extend, I extend an invitation to all of you to uh, go over there to the corner of Lion and Ransom and gaze upon the, uh, the exterior at first that has not changed much, though there is a new uh, penthouse on top of the staircase silo where you can, uh, uh, where they've housed all of the air handling equipment. So now instead of it actually being over Recital Hall, it's above the staircase. So in the middle of a recital, you don't hear uh, which is great. And I've been told by all of the, the, the workmen who've been, who've been working on the building for a year that even when life flight goes over, you can't hear it. It's so quiet in there. So that's pretty amazing. So please do come visit us. After uh, the first couple of weeks of May, we should be in fairly good uh, stead. And you can come over and take a tour. We'd love for you to come over and, and take a peek and walk through it. It's, it's really beautiful, just gorgeous. So again, I thank you all for being here this evening. I thank all of the students and faculty for their wonderful performances this evening. And now, I think it's almost time for the wind ensemble, so I'll get off stage. Thanks very much.